how to remove shields on mobile devices. In today's video, we'll explain the best way from our point of view to remove the metal sheet on motherboards. Guys, he is Leonardo and today's class is 100% dedicated to technicians. To remove the shields, I used to use 380 Celsius degrees and 50% air with a GBCR station, but it was taking too long. As I like to investigate and test new techniques, I have decided to raise the temperature up to 450 Celsius degrees and 80% air. Still, this technique may be subject to improvements. Right now I am applying to the motherboard 450 Celsius degrees and 80% air. My idea is to apply lots of heat and lots of airflow for very little time. In this way we can remove the shield quickly and we don't damage the other components. It is similar to the gravity technique from the integrate circuits. Working with this temperature the nozzle it has to move all around the shield. At no time the nozzle should be remain immovable and with the help of a surgical scalpel we have to pry. Let's check the temperature of the hot air station. As I was saying before, 450 and 80% air. If you work with the quick station, you can apply 500 and 100% air. We go to the microscope to see the final result. Everything seems fine, no component has moved. Soon I'll explain the logic of this technique. This device is ours and practically it was new. To keep advancing, we have to practice and on some occasion it might cost money. 
if we fail doesn't mean that we are a bad technician and we don't have to feel discouraged. We always have to stay with the positive part. Before reaching the moon, how many missions have they failed? This is the only way to advance as a technician. You have to practice to go ahead and draw your conclusions. If you like this type of content, please support our project with a strong like, share it, and we'll keep uploading quality content. Thank you. In the description of this video, I'll share you the links from where to buy the tools that we are using during this repair. It seems that our device works properly. Now we are going to solder the shields. First we can apply two soldering points. After the metal sheet remains fixed, let's solder it. Now I'm going to lower the temperature a bit to 380 Celsius degrees and 50% air. To solder it, we need less temperature. To clean the shields, we use a wipe and contact cleaner. If after soldering the shields, the device won't turn on, don't panic. Surely some part of the shields is touching with some component from the motherboard. For this reason, when we solder the shield, we have to center it very well. Our device turns on perfectly. Guys, thanks for watching. This was today's class and see you next time. Bye bye.